And you're sure nobody's gonna come in here and find us? I'm positive. I overheard my dad once talking about this place. He said it was perfect because nobody ever came in here. He doesn't even know I know he owns it. Great. I brought some snacks. Uh, potato chips, chocolate chip cookies, pickles. This is like camping. I'm really glad we did this. I couldn't handle these last few days not being together. It wasn't you, was it? Your dad made you stop seeing me. Sort of. Why? Don't your parents like me? Well, sure they like you. Well, then what? It's got nothing to do with you, Sherry. Really. Of course it does. No, it's about your dad and my dad. Your dad doesn't like my dad? I didn't say that. My dad is the most wonderful man in the world. And if you or your dad have any problems, you can all just stuff it. I don't have any problem. I like your dad. I like him a lot. We're together now, right? I mean, that's what counts. Look at us. We're supposed to be having a good time. Let's go out for pizza. It's almost midnight. Ruby's is still open. Come on. Are we having an adventure or not? Have you talked to Groverton and other neighboring jurisdictions? I've called everywhere, and I've got all units working double shifts. I don't know what else to do. Thanks, Sid. You and Rachel holding up? Bailey. I'll be in touch. Thanks again. Want the last piece? No, thanks. What are you thinking about? What I'm always thinking about. Day and night, night and day. Your speech. Okay, here's the deal. I'm supposed to get up there and say, today I become a man. But I don't feel like a man. I mean, my dad's a man, your dad's a man. The only man that would be in the eighth grade is one that's flunked like 20 times. <laughs> so say something else. Like what? What if you got up there and you said what you just told me? That you don't feel like a man yet, but studying for your bar mitzvah, you've learned a lot of stuff that you'll always remember as you grow into one. That is excellent. I learned a lot of stuff. David, you gotta put it in your own words. I just gave you an idea. Let it sink in. You gotta write what you feel from the inside. I'm not good at writing what I feel. I'm a guy. Remember that note you sent me in Mr. Quitter's class? Yeah. I got to put away in my room. It was the most beautiful thing anyone has ever... because it was from your heart. Okay. Yes, Sid? Hips just called him. While he was on break, he stopped in at Ruby's Pizza out near Redmond Park. He showed photographs of Sherry and David. Somebody ID'd them. They were in earlier. Someone spotted David. Send units out there, I'll meet you. Call you as soon as I know anything. You can make this easy on yourself. 